Good afternoon and welcome to another episode of the Private Property Home Shopper Show where we are back in one of the most sought after estates in Johannesburg and that is Copper Leaf Golf Estate. Today, right behind me as you can see, 825 and we're going to be showing you this 5,900,000 Rand, four bedroom, four bathroom, two car garage gem of a farm style home so follow me as we take you through this luxurious home because i promise you there's nothing but great things in store for us And here we are, we finally get to take a look at this incredible house. So behind me, your entryway is beautiful wood entryway with some featured walls there. And then you find yourself right here, your entry hall. Stunning dark tiles, which is pretty much made up throughout the home. On my right hand side is your first bedroom as well as bathroom. Let's take a look at that. And we'll come back out here and take a look at all the living areas. Walking into your guest bathroom, you've got some beautiful, beautiful New York style frosted glass, which gives you privacy for your walk-in shower. You've got your single vanity, which is raised up. And then just below it, you've got some under-counter storage, single toilet also on the right-hand side. Then we come to the office space, which can also be used as your bedroom. Plenty of space here. You've got your built-in cupboards, stunning lighting, and all that lighting pouring through the glass windows there from outside. Copper Leaf Golf Estate is a beautiful estate, and it's so nice to be able to take in all the sights from every single one of your bedrooms. Okay, and now let's talk about these living areas. So let's start right here. My favorite part of any home is this kitchen. And the first thing I need to say about this kitchen, and you notice it as soon as you walk in here, and that is these massive ceilings. Well, I wouldn't say double volume, but close to a volume and a half. And then the rooftop is something we've never seen before. So your ceiling is actually inlaid wood, which really does give you that farm style vibe while you are here. You've got these stunning farm style down lighting for your center island i love a center island and this one is extra extra large you've got an inlaid gas uh, stove with five hobs here underneath is your oven and then again we're seeing this twice now is a stove that faces into your dining room area so that you can entertain your guests while you are whipping up a meal it is a super cool feature not one that we see enough on my right hand side you can see the smeggiest smeg appliances so we've got inbuilt stoves as well as microwaves really nice again fits those farmhouse feels it really does remind you of those old stoves back in the in the 80s love how they've been done lots of storage both above and below warming drawer cupboards in the center island and then behind me all this cupboard space and these built-in shelves again with this beautiful Beautiful raw wood all the way up with your featured wall behind it. On my right hand side, also oh, my left hand side, your right hand side, we've got space for a fridge there. And then my favorite drink of choice to start the day is your coffee corner. Again, all built in with some cupboard space. And you've got these beautiful sliding doors letting you out onto your outside area, which we'll talk about in a bit. You see, we've got some uh, some pooches outside there so that they don't, they don't cover me in love. But on my right hand side, it's even more even more we've got a walk-in wine cellar now you could repurpose this for what you want but i think a wine cellar it is incredible we're just gonna have to adjust the lighting for this because it's nice and dark and and moody in here you've got all these wine bottles stacked all the way up we've got our whiskies we've got our rums our gins we've got everything here and again all on this raw wood shelves really really like this it does fit the feel of this home so well but then if we come out of this if you don't want to use that as a wine cellar you're not a big drinker you can definitely use it as a pantry so excuse the noise here but this is where all your goods are going to be stored we've got built-in fridges we've got all these shelving units and then for all those appliances that you're wondering where they are it's going to be right over here so as you can see under counter storage for appliances double sink just in front of me and then behind me is access to your garage so you're walking through your garage you can either go left out to the back inside of the house or right into that stunning kitchen but now that we've got the kitchen out the way it's time to talk about the dining room area because also it is quite unique in how it's been laid out and also what we find here first time i think we've ever had on the show is a square dining room table three seats aside and then above me you've got that frame supported again i'm going to say this quite often in this home farm style ceiling but then we've got inbuilt strip led light so it brings a little bit of 
modernness to this home. And now my favorite is one of the most killer fireplaces. I love these kind of fireplaces. So a huge block of quartz, got this raw wood again, being a center feature wall. And there's your fireplace. So it's shared both with the dining room area as well as the living room area. I love the colors and how well it works with all the raw wood. Now, talking about a raw wood, or should I just say at least wood is over here. We've got some other doors that open outwards onto either your fireplace or what's your garden. Love the fact they've incorporated so much wood there and in a style that you would, uh, you know, wouldn't be out of place when it does come to a farm. So I love how that's done. We're going to take a look at that outside area as well. But now it's time to go to the sitting room area and it's one of the coziest sitting room areas I think we've seen. We've got a bird on camera this time. I think it might be his first time on camera. So if he's shy, just please do forgive us. But in front of me, that feature wall, we've got a huge TV mounted to that. That continuation of the quartz right over there does blend in so well with the tiles and then we've got this slate gray couch with another feature wall behind it. We've also got windows there, there and there, letting in so much natural light and also letting you appreciate not only the LED strips, but that frame built roof and how it goes all the way outside. It makes you do feel like you're on a ranch a little bit. Love all the space here and you can do so much with it. It's so versatile because the space is so big. And then like I did mention, you've got this outside area over here. All these doors do open up. So you can open up these doors. So what is the doors in your kitchen? And then it does have that outdoor, indoor feel with your, I'd say your outside bry area. So if you're entertaining, you don't want to do it indoors, feel free to do it outside. Because if we talk about some of the features outside, we go from tiles to beautiful wood feel tiles. And you know, those outdoor weather stripping tiles. We've got wood built in on both sides of the bry area, creating a feature wall, but also you can grab that if you are starting a fireplace or if you're making some, uh, some fires outside on those cold winter days in South Africa. You've got your huge trellis sitting in the middle, acting as a table. Then you've got your inbuilt gas bry as well as all those prep areas. But then if we're walking through to the bedrooms, we've got a lot to talk about. So as you can see, we've come into a more enclosed space, a lot more beautiful, a lot more moody, beautiful, you know, textured walls here, also in gray matching the tiles. First bedroom on the left, then it's second, third bedroom. The fourth bedroom was that one right over there by the door. Let's start over here and let's work our way through. So now walking into this first bedroom or the second one, if we don't include that office, you'll find plenty of space here for any kind of bed you'd like to put in, or if you'd like to make it an office again, if you'd like two offices, again, this room is fit for purpose. You get so much natural light coming from the slit windows located right by the ceiling. Then you've got another large window looking out onto your bra area built-in cupboards all the way around, leading you to an ensuite bathroom. This ensuite bathroom shares the same design elements of what we saw right there at the beginning with the first guest bathroom. However, this does come with the addition of a floating bathtub or freestanding bathtub. Beautiful, beautiful um, oval bathtub. Then you've got your single vanity, under counter storage, and toilet and walk-in shower again with those New York style windows. Also, this bedroom is serviced with an aircon like the rest of the home. Now, the second bedroom located within that same hallway, again, is a carbon copy of what we just saw, almost a mirror image. Tall ceilings, you've got built-in speakers in the ceiling. You've got those built-in cupboards as well, leading onto your ensuite bathroom. Ensuite bathroom has walk-in shower, single vanity with your uh, under-counter storage, that stunning floating bathtub. However, this time, the tiles in the bathroom has changed. You've got those marble look tiles that work incredibly well in this bathroom. The white on those tiles really does contrast so nicely with all the black accents in the bathroom. Then, so much light pouring in from those rectangular slit windows located by the ceiling. You've got your aircon. And this time, you've got built-in security blinds looking out onto an outside back area that we're going to look at right now. Then we're going to loop around to the master suite and then say goodbye outside. Don't go anywhere. Let's take a look at that master suite. Now, your outside area basically wraps around the house. We've got some uh, faux grass outside, which really does bring a pop of color to this area. And then we've got built-in vegetable gardens running the length of the left of the home. But now, however, it is time for the master suite. So let's pop back into that hallway. Let's go to the left now and see what this master suite has to offer us. And now here we are in the master suite. Now, 
I have to admit, the quality of these doors, incredible. So the master suite, let's talk, let's talk about this area first. One, we've got this feature wall again. You've got this kind of treated wood here, not the raw wood, but beautiful, beautiful golden wood. Got your TV mounted there. Plenty, plenty of space for all the beds you could ever want. And then we've got a continuation of that framed ceiling, that vaulted ceiling. Beautiful, beautiful ceiling. In front of me, got sliding doors, glass doors looking out onto this incredible estate. You can see the grounds, you can see the lake, you can see the roads, you can see the mountains. It is a really nice view. But you've also got your outside area. So you've got a small private patio, beautiful grass cascading down the one wall, table there for you to enjoy your coffee. Really, this is estate living at its finest, I must admit. But there are some killer features in this, uh, in this room. One is obviously you've got your slidable, stackable blinds, those white blinds that you can um, use instead of curtains. But now we've got this area here. And this area only gets better. So we start off with your walk-in closet. You can see all your closet space there. You can show off your clothing. You spent all that money on clothing. You've come this far in life. Show it off. Let people see it. Then we've got this right over here. So quarter counter tops, under counter storage, and two floating single vanities here. Open up your taps. Beautiful. You've got your mirrors built in here. I like it all. I really do this mirrors everybody here, everywhere here. I love it. But this year, for me, without a doubt, takes a cake. So let me start off right over here. So we've got space here for all your towels, we've got a coffee machine right over here. Granted, you might not want the coffee machine. I appreciate it. I love a coffee machine. You've got your toilet. Privacy can close the door. No problem. We like all of that. But then we come to this area. So give me a moment while I fanboy about this. We've got some built-in LED lights. It makes it feel really moody. We've got a shower head over there. We've got a shower head over there. But then we've got shower heads over here. So this shelf is a shower head. One, two, three, four different shower heads there and four over there. And what my cameraman so smartly pointed out is if you don't want to wet your hair, you're going to use this shower head to do everything else. So for all of the ladies who don't want to wet their hair, they just got it done perfectly, perfectly placed for you. But now we've got this over here. Oh, all that water just kind of falls down and then drains into these two little drains. So it's, it's a wet room. Then we've got this massive, massive oval bathtub above you, skylight, the wall, this feature wall with the grass and these portholes right here. I love it. All of these completely private. Nobody out there can see you at all. Again, super, super cool. Love it all. Love the tiles. But now maybe we want a shower, an outdoor shower. There is nothing above me. It's just a shower head again, a continuation of the green wall. And then you've got your one showers here. Yeah, as well, in case you don't want to wet your hair. Maybe you're feeling a bit stiff, you've worked really hard. Well, right over here is an inbuilt steam room. So you're going to sit in there, you're going to shut this, and that's your steam room. You've got a steam room that's outside. I love it all. Again, this here is another door. You can close this off so you can make that ultra steamy. It is incredible. Probably my favorite bathroom out of every single home shopper's bathroom so, so far. I love it, I love the greenery, I love how everything works, I love the lighting. This home is absolutely incredible, which is what we've come to expect when we talk about Copper Leaf Golf Estate. It is incredible homes that hold their value and really only start increasing in value because of all of the, the, the shops popping up, all of the regentrification of the areas, loving it. But that does conclude the shoot. So after you, let's go outside, let's talk about pricing, let's talk about how you can become the next owner of the time. And here we are outside. There's a couple of killer features we need to talk about outside as well. Obviously, you've got your center table here, plenty of space, built-in bar area over here with built-in fridges. Oh, really, really nice. The alcohol, the fireplace, the pool, but there's even more because, I mean, all of that goes together quite well. Right over here on the right, we've got a fire pit. On the left, we've got a miniature putting green. In front of me, as I did mention, we've got a pool with two pieces of glass over there acting as a railing. Again, looking out onto the incredible Copper Leaf Estate. But if you'd like to become the owner of this stunning country style home with so many modern finishes, what I'd like you to do is contact Tessa. She is the agent for this property. The agency is Zinkware Properties. All of their details will be on screen as well as in the description of this video right now. Don't hesitate. 5.9 million, four bedrooms, four bathrooms, two car garages. You can't take the parrot, but you do get everything else. Don't hesitate. We're going to see you soon on the next episode of the Private Property Home Shopper Show. And for everybody else looking to purchase property anywhere in the country, anywhere in South Africa, go to www.privateproperty.co.za we have every single listing from every single estate agent or agency from 100,000 all the way to 200 million guys don't hesitate jump online they find your next home and we'll be finding you sitting down watching another episode of the home shopper show every Monday and Friday 8 p.m thank you so much and goodbye